Welcome to the StockInvest.us Weekly Report. As another trading week begins, we are excited to bring you the latest in stock market news and analysis. Today, we will cover the most important events for the markets this week, provide in-depth analysis of last week's performance. We will also analyze the top five most trending stocks of the past week and give you some exclusive stock picks to add to your watch list so you can stay ahead of the game. But before we begin, it's important to note that the information provided in this video is for informational and educational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We encourage all viewers to do their own research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment with your thoughts on this week's report. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you another great report next week. Let's get started. The stock market rallied last week with the S&P 500 increasing by 2.7%. The index is now up 11.8% from its October 12 low and down 16.6% from its January 3, 2022 high. Scenario of manageable inflation without a recession is possible. But for now, the Federal Reserve will continue to tighten monetary policy, leading to tighter financial conditions and increased risk of a recession. However, if evidence of easing inflation continues, the Fed may change its tone. Consumers and businesses remain financially healthy, and any downturn is unlikely to lead to economic catastrophe. Long-term investors should remember that recessions and bear markets are part of the stock market, and the long-term outlook for stocks remains positive. The S&P 500 rose 2.7% last week and is up 4% for the year. The consumer price index dropped in December and posted its smallest annual increase since October 2021. The data is seen as giving Fed officials room to further downshift the pace of rate hikes at the pace of rate hikes at the February meeting. This is welcome news for equity bulls after the S&P 500 posted a 19% loss in 2022, the worst hit since the 2008 financial crisis. But historically, S&P 500 has rallied back from such down years by an average of 15% in the next 12 months according to data since 1950. Oil prices have been impacted this week by uncertainty surrounding China's oil demand and the potential recovery of their economy. Although the promising inflation data in the U.S. has helped to buoy prices, white is nearing $80 per barrel and Brent is nearing $85 per barrel. Gold prices have also risen, with the most active futures contract reaching above $1,900 an ounce for the first time since April, referred to as a golden cross. And now, let's talk more about the upcoming trading week. The first thing to watch next week is the U.S. retail sales figures for December, which are expected to show a decline of 0.8%, adding to concerns that the Federal Reserve's rate hikes are cooling the economy. Investors will also be closely watching earnings results from Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, Procter Gamble, and Netflix to see if U.S. companies can beat estimates despite higher costs squeezing profit margin. Another important event to watch is the Bank of Japan's two-day policy meeting on Wednesday, which could result in further adjustments to its yield curve control policy, potentially signaling a future rate hike. In addition, China will release data on its fourth quarter and full-year GDP, retail sales, investment, and industrial output, which are expected to be weak. However, investors will also look to prospects for recovery in the world's second largest economy. Finally, the World Economic Forum will hold its first winter meeting in Davos since before the pandemic, with discussions on the cost of living crisis, natural disasters, geoeconomic confrontation, and failure to mitigate climate change. The first anniversary of Russia's war in Ukraine will also be a topic of concern. Please note that all analyses for these stocks can be found on stockinvest.us just type a ticker name on the search. Let's move a little away from the upcoming events and talk about five trending stocks on everyone's lips, which you most often search for on stockinvest.us. Tesla. Tesla's stock price dropped 0.94% on Friday, 13th Jan, 2023 from $123.56 to $122.40 with a volume of 180 million shares traded, despite the falling prices. This could be a sign of caution and the risk may increase in the coming days. Tesla has already slashed prices in the US, Europe, and China in 2023. Buy stock is soaring in the new year. Tesla announced big China price cuts on Jane. Six as well as in Australia, South Korea, and Japan. 
On Jan 13, the EVAD giant slashed prices in the US and Europe, with the former making more Tesla vehicles eligible for US tax credits. Amazon Amazon stock price gained 2.99% on Friday 13 Jan 2023, rising from $95.27 to $98.12 marking the seventh consecutive day of gains. This is an uncommon occurrence. The stock has risen 16.56% over the past two weeks. Despite Amazon had a rough 2022 with the company's stock tumbling more than 40% throughout the year, Gemp Securities equity research analyst Nick Jones recently told Yahoo Finance Live that there's still a lot to like about Amazon. Azine Stock Mullen Automotive stock price fell 8.59% on Friday, 13th Jane, 2023, from 391 cents to 358 cents, marking the third consecutive day of decline. The stock has risen 35.52% over the past two weeks. The trading volume decreased. 56 million shares, totaling 167 million shares traded for a total of $59.58 million. This decrease in volume is actually a good sign, as it usually follows the stock's performance. NEO NEO's stock price decreased by 0.847% on Friday, 13th Jane 2023, from $11.81 to $11.80. The stock has risen 18.12% in the last two weeks. The volume of shares traded on the last day increased by 2 million, despite the falling prices. This could be a sign of potential danger, and the risk may increase in the upcoming days. NEO stock has lost a whopping 66% in value since the market peaked on Jane, 3 2022, and the question remains if it will recover in 2023. Apple stock price increased 1.1% on Friday, 13th Jan, 2023 going from $133.41 to $134.76, marking the fifth consecutive day of gain. Share in the comments what tickers you're tracking. As promised at the beginning, a few words about the three stocks that can be added to the watch list this week. This week, we will be keeping an eye on three tickers, Netflix, Starbucks, and Coca-Cola. Starting with Netflix, the consumer price index is up 6.5% year over year and many companies are passing on the additional costs to their customers in the form of higher prices. Warner Bros. Discovery, UBUB 0.8%, has already raised the monthly subscription fee for streaming service HBO Max by $1 per month, or 7%. With this in mind, many are wondering if Netflix will follow suit and raise its own prices. With more than 73.4 million North American subscribers, this is a question that many are eager to have answered. The Netflix earnings report is set to come out this week. Moving on to Starbucks, this is a name that needs no introduction. The chain of coffee houses and roasteries is a favorite with consumers around the world. And even in the current challenging macro environment, where consumer discretionary spending is broadly in flux, Starbucks is still marking business wins and has a solid foundation it can build upon to launch itself to future growth well after any recessionary storm has passed. In the company's fiscal 2022, which ended oct. 2, it reported an 8% increase in global comparable store sales, helped by a 12% increase in comparable store sales in North America, while international sales declined by 24% compared to fiscal 2021. A large part of this was due to continued COVID-19-related closures in China. Starbucks has a three-year financial growth strategy called the Reinvention Plan, which was announced in September 2022. These initiatives include targeting global revenue growth of 10% to 12% annually between fiscal 2023 and fiscal 2025, and increasing its global store count by 7% annually in that forecast period. Finally, we have Coca-Cola. Coke is expected to post earnings of $0.45 cents per share for the current quarter, representing no change from the year-ago quarter. The consensus earnings estimate of $2.00. 55 cents for the next fiscal year indicates a change of a 2.6% from what Coke is expected to report a year ago. Over the past month, the estimate has changed to 0.8%. For dividend investors, it's worth noting that Coca-Cola's stock yields 2% based on current share prices. Overall, these three companies are worth keeping an eye on this week as they have important earnings reports coming out or potential changes in their strategies. As we move into 2023, it's important to look ahead and not get caught up in the current market downturn.
Despite the decline in markets in 2022, many experts see a relatively attractive climate for long-term investors. It's important to keep in mind that, that individual pockets of the market could do well, despite the larger economic malaise, and could set up investors for long-term success. It's also important to remember that until the Fed changes its stance on raising interest rates, we may continue to see market fluctuations similar to those in 2022. Growth stocks, tech stocks, and cryptocurrencies have taken a hit this year. But some experts predict that 2023 may progress on a similar path until recovery begins. It's important to not let the financial media and short-term news distract you from the long-term opportunities. Look at fundamentals and stick with what you know and have researched. The news outlets are always late to the party, so do your homework and anticipate moves in the market. In terms of specific stock sectors, experts suggest keeping an eye on quality companies, value stocks, tech stocks, and small cap stocks. Quality companies may be able to survive and even thrive during a recession. Value stocks may continue to outperform in a rising interest rate environment, and tech stocks may present a great opportunity once the rate hikes have subsided. Additionally, small-cap stocks may rebound after being hit hard in the early stages of a recession. However, it's also important to note that some sectors like retail and leisure companies may not perform as well in a weaker economy, so it may be best to stay away from those. As always, do your own research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Thanks for tuning into StockInvest.us. We hope you found this video helpful in your quest for informed investment decisions. Remember to keep an eye on a stock's fundamentals, financial health, industry trends, and any relevant information or events that may impact the stock price. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us via comments or our social media channels. We'll be back next week with more analysis and insights, so stay tuned. As always, please keep in mind that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. The information provided on StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment decisions, and any use of the information provided is at your own risk.